That's twisted itself into the hole and it's now jammed itself in there. Oh. Right, we are going to show you how to fit a heavy duty wishbone into a 2008 Vauxhall or Opel Vivero van. Yes, technically I've only got one bushing gone at the back, which is that bushing, I believe. Yeah, that's the bushing that's gone. And yes, you can just replace it. But I'm telling you now, the hassle of taking it out, pressing a bearing in, doing all that. And then this is an old bearing, that's an old bushing. It's just not worth it. Yes, these are redonkously expensive in Ireland. Yes, this is a genuine one, which again, you don't need to do. And you do one side, you need to do the other side. I've already done the other side, but... Anyway, we're going to show you on the floor how to do it. Sorted. Right, so the first thing you need to do is jack the car up. Now, lucky enough, we've got a big, huge subframe under here, so we can put the jack directly under the subframe. But whenever you're doing anything like this, especially when you're on the floor, you always want to make sure you've got axle stand. Now, I've got my axle stand on the proper point of the car, or the van, whatever, whatever you happen to be working on. So, this is relatively straightforward, because if you think about it, I say that, and I'm now going to shoot myself in the foot, but you've only really got one bolt here, which if I remember from the other side, it's like 24. And then we've got a 22 and a 30 um, there. And then we've got a 24 there, I believe. I can't even remember. I'll tell you as I'm doing them, I can't remember. Um, I did the uh, other side yesterday and I just can't remember. But anyway, um, but it is relatively straightforward because it's just a couple of nuts and bolts really. And the whole wishbone is out. I have found it easier in the past when you're doing anything with wishbones, even on a lift, but also loosen your drive shaft because what that allows you to do is it allows you to move the disc and the suspension out of the way without pulling your drive shaft um, out of your spine. So in other words, you've got a little spider in there with bearings and it goes into a little coupling and you can pull them out and if the little bearing falls down, it's just a mess. You don't want to be dealing with it. So undo this and then you just got a lot more movement. It's a lot, hell of a lot easier for you. But with this one, or with this particular vehicle, on this bolt here, we've got like a special kind of bolt and a special kind of nut. The nut actually has a shoulder on it, which needs to line up inside the actual bushing itself. So I'll show you on the new one. So on this one here, is it, yes, this one here, the, the, the nut of the bolt actually goes into here, almost like a group four stud on a rally car on the wheels. And so this is, it's easier to put this bolt in first because that has to line up 100%. All the other bolts have a bit of wiggle room and you can kind of get away with it. If you put the other bolts in first and not put that in, it just makes things a lot more awkward. It's doable, but it makes things a lot more awkward. So if you put that bolt in first, it just makes things a little bit more simple. And I do say a little bit because with this being the heavy duty suspension, it's a really, really thick. This is in really heavy. You know, you struggle to move these bushings and stuff around where the other one has a lot thinner plate and it's just a lot easier. And a car, again, sometimes has a smaller one, so it's easier to kind of brute force them in. Where this, not so easy. So the first thing I'm going to do just off camera is I'm just going to clean all the threads, all the bare threads that I can in that one, this one down here. And you can't really see anything on that one. There's no really, well, there kind of is a thread sticking out, but... It's not really. It's just when you come to pull the bolt out with all that crap out of it, um, it just makes the bolt come out a lot easier. Because what can actually happen is all the crap that's on the threads can actually act like Loctite, and it'll make the it'll make it really hard to come out. And it can even start stripping threads in everything, and causing all sorts of problems. And these are not normal bolts. You can't just put like a normal bolt in these. These are high tensile bolts. They're special bolts to take a certain load. So. Just be very, very careful. Right, first thing we need to do, 32 mil, take off the bolt for the dry shaft, make sure it goes back in, it does. The other thing you really want to do is, what makes this easier is if you do have some sort of battery power tool or air tool, but also be careful and make sure you have the vehicle jacked up enough because otherwise you won't be able to get your gun in. So that's kind of the hardest thing on this. Well, <laughs> what have you got? A car. What have you got in your hand? 
What are they? Teddies. But what are they called? Foxy and Monty. Ah. Very cool. And Dad, you know when you put like a wishbone in a car or whatever it's called? Yeah. Are you making a wish in a car? Well, I am making a wish, but yeah, I'm making a wish every time I undo a bolt. That it all goes well. I'm making a lot of wishes. So what happens if it doesn't go well? Then you start swearing a lot and throwing things. <laughs> That's what normally happens. Yeah, so what happens when you screw up? Does that fall off? Well, if I screw up too much, as we're driving down the road, we will be uh, driving Stop. down the road upside down. So, it's kind of important we get it right, don't you think? <laughs> you mean like, car flipped over? Yeah. <laughs> right, and what I'm actually using to also help in the, in the actual how high the vehicle is off the ground, uh, I do have a smaller gun, a 3.8 gun, which is very powerful, but it's, you know, still not as powerful as that. So I'm using shallow sockets, which helps, but you need a 21mm shallow socket for this regardless. Because of this bolt here, you can see, it's just easier to get uh, something on there. Because I find, because of how thin the head of that bolt is, when you put a spanner on it, and you try and undo it and tighten it, the spanner tends to slip off. And it doesn't take much to round that to you in a lot of trouble. And you can't really use a normal size socket because you won't be able to get it in. So uh, the, the short reach or the shallow sockets really do help you on this job. I've got a question. What's the question? If those things help so much, why don't you just put them in there, put the wheel on, and then the, the car won't flip upside down? That's what I am doing. I'm replacing it to so, stop that happening. So you literally just have to, like, get that screwed in there, pick up the heavy wheel, put it on, and then dab. Done. Basically. Maybe without the dab. But it, where's the wishbone? I don't see it. See the big thing there, look? See this big... Thing, see it there? Yeah. That's the wishbone. This is the new one, yeah. Okay, uh, is that stuck on there on purpose or? It is, because I'm gonna just about take off that bolt. Well, I was, until I keep getting really interrupted. <coughs> All right. This is the one that we know is bad. That's the really bad one this next one is harder to get out and harder to get in but like i said when you're putting it back in you want to make sure you do that bolt first now one thing i will try first before i put anything on the top because sometimes that bolt can actually be stuck or jammed so the the nut will come off the bottom without me having to hold it but not necessarily so i'm going to try that first it's a 30 minute socket and the answer to that is no well oh, i didn't think so i'll try a 21 mil spanner first but i've just found in the past when you have a bolt that's that thin bolt head You just can't hold it. Ah, come on. Fuck! Wow, I got it. Come on. God. She's gonna come back now. I hear you swearing. Here she comes. You didn't hear anything, did you? I did. Uh-huh, okay. There we go. <laughs> what did you hear? Me talking nicely to the camera? No, I heard you say... <laughs> oh, I said all that, did I? No, I can't say it, you know. <laughs> it's the F word. It's not the F word. I heard you say it. You mean flubber? Yeah. Yeah, flubber. And flip and flop. 
Nothing wrong with saying flop it. I'm watching you, Daddy. I said flop and then flibber. I'm watching you, you Daddy. You can be watching me all you want. I'm watching you. I'm watching you too. I'm crunching leaves outside. I'm watching you. <laughs> I don't think that's ever been a sentence before. I'm crunching leaves outside, I'm watching you. I don't think anyone's ever said that before. <laughs> right, you can see now why this bolt hole is hard to line up because technically the bolt will go through, but the actual shaft of the nut. Ah, the shaft of the nut. Hmm will not fit so that's why it's just easy to get this bolt in first where you've got a lot more movement it's a lot looser before you ram it in home <laughs> for fuck's sake oh i am honestly just trying to fix the van i'm not like do you know what i mean unreal right and the last one now is a 24 mil and um you can do it a few ways. You can try and take off this and hammer it down to get this loose, but I just find again, with this being a really heavy duty wishbone, it's just harder to do. So I'm gonna loosen this off, then slide out the wishbone so the wishbone is floppy. God, I'm farting again. Jesus. Floppy, shaft, what else can I say on this video? Um, I just find it easier once it's actually hanging down. So 24 mil, I'm gonna put on a 22 mil spanner on as an extension so you can just see there look as an extension and then hopefully this should come off without taking too much of my finger skin off finger oh for fuck's sake oh there we go i think i said literally every word word known to man and i've even made up some in this video right hopefully this will come off without spinning if the shaft starts spinning all you need to do is that so if the actual bolt or not the bolt if the actual uh, threaded part starts spinning just get a jack put it underneath here put a bit more pressure on that will stop it from spinning and it'll allow you to get it off yeah get it off there's another one for you all right so let me get this off and then uh, i'll turn the camera back up now hopefully you can see this this could be a bit awkward because trying to film this sort of stuff on the floor is just awkward anyway what i've got to do now is i've got to take this wishbone out but the wishbone kind of has to be slid down this way first because the opening isn't big enough so when you take it off it has to go more forward before it comes out and hopefully this will do as it's told but sure until you go with it. Oh, that back cushion is bad boy. But we knew it was. That's why we're changing the whole thing. For some reason now this has decided to lock itself. Can't get it in. <laughs> I'm doing it again. Oh, God. An X-rated video. Ah, no, it's stuck. There we go. I'm glad to get back in, it hasn't. I was hoping it would slide out because I've undone the drive shaft, but because I said that's what it's supposed to do, of course, it's not doing it in the video. Right, the problem is, if I undo the ball joint, then this will come down really easy. But the problem is, the ball joint is going to be under an awful lot of pressure. So it's just not going to come out easy. So 
just as I thought it wouldn't come out easy. So, we have no choice but to do what we was doing and just hope for the best. Why is that? There we go. Now we get it. Now we get it. Oh, there we go. That's it. Come to that. <laughs> ah. Kind of said that one on purpose. Now, drive shaft to go back. I can pull the arm out. Now, come on, come on. There we go. Just like it. And now we can kind of hit this. And there you go. Boom. Sorted. What do we say? Don't forget to get your hands dirty, loves. But before that, what do we say? Don't. Sorted. Sorted. <laughs> Don't forget this little cover as well, because that's what stops the brake burning a hole and melting your rubber. Oh my God. I've literally said everything now. All right, this is the best angle I can get. Can you see? You can see that you can't, or you can see the front of the wishbone. Can't really see. Well, you can. Anyway. So, again, loads of different ways of doing this. You can jack up your hub and your suspension and everything and gives you a bit more room because it makes it level. But the problem is, again, it tends to, especially on these vans, it tends to push the the wishbone towards you because as you lift this up all it wants to do is pull the whole front suspension this way because that's what the wishbone stops it from doing but of course when it's not connected it can't stop it from doing that so i put my little shield on and i just put this in here first cars have shields to protect them they do and then what I've got to try, actually no, um, maybe if, no I won't do it this way this time. So what I'll do is I'll put it in first and then once it's kind of in place, which it kind of is now, I can then put the bottom bolt on. But you see how I had to kind of slide that through, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. completely gone in wrong. Uh, How has it managed to do that? Uh, <sighs> Unbelievable. Oh, fucking believable. As soon as I start filming shit, always oh, fucking does this. That's twisted itself into the hole and it's now jammed itself in there. Oh. You couldn't do that if you tried. Seriously, you couldn't do that if you fucking tried. Unbelievable. <sighs> Alright, if you just go out and play for a second, please. This is not 
doing what I want it to at all, like even remotely. side no fucking problems It's the shittest job in the world. Why is there wishbone? Why is the drop link drop so much? I don't understand. It's the drop. This wouldn't be happening if I didn't turn on the fucking camera. To a degree, this needs to go back. I can at least get something in there. Is that bolt hole close? No, I'm not. It's certainly close. Like no, that, but. The other one is just a mile off. <laughs> I don't understand why this won't go in. It just needs to go in, but if I jack, if I put the jack under here, all it's going to do is want to push it out, and I'm not going to be able to get it in. I really need to get it out. Aha! Uh -huh. right, did that go in, or did it just drop the? I put the jack down and then let the other wheel down the far side. 
that should take the pressure off the anti-roll bar because the anti-roll bar is now stopping me so let me try that right can you still see make it easy well it certainly give me more room whether it's made it easy or not is up for debate but it's given me more room This is not budging, like at all. done something it's got it in a bit more oh. there we go there we go Right, like I said, see this, this is the special bolt, look. So you can see the collar here and the collar there kind of match and it goes into, through the bushing. I just need to clean this up. But these will go in without the main bolt lining up, that's the problem. So, because the bushing can twist in on itself, the top of the bushing can line up. This is the prime example. The bottom of the bushing is lined up, but the top is nowhere near because the bushing can move. Same with this one, but we've got an added problem with this one is because this one's got a collar on the top and the bottom where a normal bolt just goes through and you've got a little bit of leeway. This is really good though, for because it basically centers the wishbone. So it's good for that way, but it makes it a lot harder to fit. So. the bottom or the top I think end up very well. Can't really hit it. Right, the bottom is not lined up at all. At the top is so what do we need to do with the bottom? So we need to come out. Now this is where jacking would help. I'll show you now in a second. I need to get this bolt more towards me, so more towards me. <laughs> when I jack it up under here, it will push the whole thing more towards me. So jacking up now will, will, will help me, where before it just definitely wasn't going to be too. But before we do that, we need to line this top bolt in. Because the way it is at the minute, It'll cause us more problems. So let's just see if I can hit that across. So. Oh, yes. Yes, it's made things a million times easier. Right. 
Now that's in place, it can't move out. So what we need to do now is jack it up. So let me get another jack and let me get the camera set up and hopefully I can show you this happening in real time. Right, I can just imagine there was people screaming at the car, oh, if you jack it up, you wouldn't have had this problem, you would have got them bolts in easy. So I'm going to prove to you now that that just wasn't the case. The jack now is completely or well, near enough under where the uh, ball joint is. As I start jacking up, what it's going to want to do, it's going to want to, as this suspension lifts up, it's going to want to pull towards me, which is going to want to pull the wishbone out. And as you can see, our bolt isn't lined up and it's lined up towards the back. So in other words, for us, in this particular case, it's great because we're going to use what the car it wants to do, pull it forward to our advantage. So if I leave the camera under there, if you just want to jack up on that for me slowly. How do I do it? Just lift it up until you just lift it up, lift the handle up. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, and I'll push it down. Push the handle down. Go on, all the way. And do that a few more times. All the way up. And down. Go on, it's alright, it's alright. Faster, go on. You're not going to break it. Yeah, keep going. This is an exercise of some sort. It is an exercise, isn't it? It will. It will. Okay, I'll do it now. Let's maybe get a bit hard fit. Yeah. Did that move? Yes, I can't yes, see. It did. No, I don't mean that. I mean, did it move the bolt? Because now I'm saying this on YouTube, you can bet your life it's not doing what it does. Every single time you try and jack it, just because I'm filming it, so. Maybe if you tend to not film it and then it'll go well? Yeah, maybe. I'm just going to stand back, just in case. Yeah, you stand back. Did it move? Now push that down, so it must have done something. I couldn't pull it down before. Oh yeah, it has moved. Right. Now now we gotta get this lined up. Jack up a little bit more. Right. Ah, yep. Yeah. We think that's it. A few gentle love taps. And we think that is close. If it's not close, it's bang on, but I think it's close. Right. Another good thing about this particular wishbone setup, because the bolts go straight through, we do not have to jack the suspension up to the normal ride height and screw them down because no matter what position the wishbone is at, it's not putting any pressure on the, um, on the bushings, if you know what I mean. So when a bushing goes through this way, through sideways, you could say, that has a twist on it. And if you tie it up when the suspension's fully drooped, there's another word that I've told you, I've said everything now, and tying it up when, when it comes to settle level, that bearing's gonna be twisted, or that bushing's gonna be twisted, and it's gonna wear out very quickly, where these, because of the way they go up and down, it makes no odds. So all I gotta do now is tighten everything. And, and then we're good to go. Yeah, and make up new words. Make up lots of new words. Don't get in yet. <laughs> oh, lovely. Got it in, and we don't need to. Don't, no, don't do 
don't need to hold the top. Excellent! We need loud noises. Yeah. Loud noises are good. Yeah. They're good. Yeah. They're good. No. no, not again. No, I have to escape before you do something loud noise. Nope, in a minute. Now you can. Lovely jubbly. Oh. oh, looks good. Now what I will do, I'm not gonna film it, I'm just gonna do it off camera is tighten everything by hand because you can never really be 100% sure with the gun I mean you know it's tight but I always like to feel everything for fuck's sake oh, oh. <laughs> I always like to feel everything by hand afterwards so all we need to now do I can put this on as well Plenty of ugger duggers there, sorted. Oh, I do still have to tighten that. I'm gonna do that off camera too. And then uh, we can wrap this video up. Right, so we're all done, we're good to go. I've just put some cable ties there because them little clips never work properly, they're crap. They all, even if you do have them, they always pop out anyway. Whenever you do anything with your suspension, always, always get it tracked. I need to get it tracked anyway, and I need to get a couple of new tires on it, but that is how easy it is when you swear and do a wishbone so there you go like i said because this is a heavy duty wishbone it makes life a lot harder because nothing moves as easy as it does in in, in the smaller stuff but as always hope it likes please share like and subscribe we get links up here, links down below but most importantly don't forget say every word you possibly can and don't forget get your hands dirty see you for the next one sorted